Uh, 12 spots left on the Series 2 break. So that one's... If I'd have to guess, that one's probably going to go early next week. Um, I'm unfortunately... Normally, it'd be like as soon as I could possibly break it, but I've unfortunately got stuff this weekend. So I think probably Monday, it'd have to be like noon Monday because we do a stream... We do magic on Monday, so it couldn't happen then. Um, so it might be Tuesday, but sometime in the next little bit. Unless it fills tonight. Like, if it fills tonight, we will absolutely break it tonight. So, but 12 spots left on that one. SP Authentic's full. So, just going to give a couple minutes for people to get in here. I started this break a little bit earlier, expecting kind of both to fill, but... Um, it just prevents me from having an eight o'clock dinner. <laughs> Not quite, but seven. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Yeah, start it off ugly and rainy here and now it's gotten a little bit nicer. Just getting everything kind of in its proper place here. That looks good. I'm excited for SP Authentic. Um, the box that we, I mean, it helped that the box we opened up was pretty incredible, but um, we, like, the new format is, I think, especially, I mean, especially for breaks, is so much better. So, all right, we got to roll for, roll for boxes here. So let's do that first. Um, I just want to make sure people know it's a full sealed case. So again, boop, boop. And I think I've already shown the top off, but in case it's hard to show the whole case in the camera nowadays. You'd like a wider, wider angle almost. That not cut through. Oh, it did. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's get box open. It's honestly, it's really weird seeing SP Authentic in the non rectangular boxes. I mean, technically, it's a rectangle and not a square still, but you know, the really long rectangular boxes. All right, let's go. Let's just ease these out slowly. One, one, two, three. Kind of flip to going upside down there. Four, five, six. Or I can count, that's eight. All right, so there's the first eight. And so it should just be, oh, okay. So they, they've loaded it up like top and bottom. Bottom are all flipped one way, top are all flipped the other way. No more inners, which I think is, I mean, fine. This peel on this one is actually like peeled off straight from the case, just as a heads up. So the shrink wrap is peeled, but the sticker's still there. So, um, box number is that three eight all right we need to choose boxes for this break so let's go ahead and let's get those chosen let's get the serial numbers facing the camera um let's see we have And we'll just start numbering them. Because worst case, we just roll a d20 and whatever the first eight. But if you've got a preference on box numbers, let me know. So we've got 55, 42, uh, 18, uh, 82, 67, 50, 97, 58, 38. That's the one with the uh, weird plastic. 53, 02, 42, 26, 75, 64, and 22. 
So we need eight boxes for the SP Authentic break. Um, if you've got a favorite number, let me know if there's a specific box you want to see. And then give that a couple minutes. If no one said anything, we will start rolling. So. We are good. So again, if no one picks box numbers soon, we will just start uh, rolling a dice. I will number them first if I can find my Sharpie. Always kind of a fun part of numbering. I think that one's actually dying. So, you know what? It might be a silver Sharpie kind of, kind of product. All right, so this is one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, it is a silver Sharpie product. Five, six, seven, a really bad seven, eight, nine, Not cardboard on it, Oop, there we go. Hang on, this has just got cardboard on it. There we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. All right. So again, if anyone's got a specific box number, wow, they look a lot, like the numbering looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. Like it shows up a lot more. So if you've got a specific number that you want to see for the break, let me know. And this box came like that. It's still sticker sealed, which is obviously what matters, but yeah. We'll be doing the other half of the case next week, by the way. Um, i do one half first week and see how it goes and do the second half the second week, see if there's any teams that were really, really weak, so. All right, the only other thing we might need is a 180. Let me get a fresh one of those opened up. go we are all ready to go here all right i don't see anyone uh with box numbers in the chat so we're just gonna start rolling again we'll roll um whatever this lands on obviously this would be so it's whatever's kind of on top here here we go 13 that's this one all right that is six, which is this one. So it's 13, six, they go that way. 12, 12 is bottom of the stack. Ooh, as nine likes to fall through here. 12, seven, that is this one. That's four down, 16. So far, haven't doubled up, haven't hit a incorrect number. So 16, and well, uh, there goes that, 18. 18 again, two. 
two more numbers. 20, that doesn't work. That is nine. So that is the one with the plastic that is poked up. And last box here, we have one, three, four, five, eight, 10, 11, 14, and 15. 10. All right, so that leaves for the other half for next week. We have uh, one, three, four, and five, and then eight, 11, 14, and 15. And again, we'll get all the serial numbers on just so you know it's from the same half. Uh, three, seven, five, five, two, one, one, eight, nine, zero, eight, two, eight, two, six, seven, and five, nine, five, eight. 4202-8075 and 9664. So that will be next week. I'm assuming it will sell out fairly quickly because it honestly like it looks phenomenal this year. I love it. Um you know the just the future watch reds are gonna obviously die down in price a little bit, but they're gonna have some value early on, and I think that's kind of cool. Alright, let's reorder these in the way that they were rolled. Let's go how the dice wanted them opened. There we go. And then it would be, so nine would be second last. There we go, and 16, perfect. All right. How are we doing? All right, think we're good? Good to start? All right. Make sure that everything's good. Everyone is in. Name list is good. Let me, I'm just gonna do a quick double check. I know we said we were gonna start at 3.30, but I was just making sure because it's a little bit earlier than normal, so I don't mind kind of pushing that back a couple of Minutes, but normally that start time is also like the time that we go live at just so people can start filling in and then just like, oh, it's this time, like, you know, we'll be breaking, but we have to pick boxes today and that always takes a little bit. So, all right, let me double, I'm just double checking, making sure everything is correct for the name list. I've like triple checked it already, but we'll do it again. Two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, two, one, one. Perfect. We are good. All right. I'm going to lower my desk a little bit more. There we go. We are good to go. Let me make sure random.org's up. Make it full screen. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Group break number. Double check, make sure I set all the times to 3.30, because if I didn't set the like bottom description one to 3.30, I think it was covered in the title, but I just always just like that little bit. Um, yeah, it says 3.30. 3.30, 3.30, 3.30. Everything is 3.30. Perfect. <laughs> always just that like slight bit paranoid that something is uh, slightly off. So, all right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Group break number 363. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 363. Today we have the half case of the brand new 2021-22 Upper Deck SB Authentic. Again, new format this year, so looking forward to it. We cracked open a box kind of for a first look on Wednesday. It was a really good box, so feel free to check that out as well. Uh, that's on the main Zephyr Epic YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll leave a try and leave a link in the description below to that. But yeah, essentially a new format this year, no more of the like long re rectangular boxes, just to the kind of like more standardish hobby boxes. You get more inserts per box on average as well. 
the card design looks really cool and lots more kind of just like regular base parallels. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the team random. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. Good luck, everyone. All right. List of names. Go over to our good old friend random.org. Three times. Once. Twice. Third time. And again, if there's ever at any point you want your name to be something else other than your actual name, just let us know. Um, we will like leave it in the break notes or contact us via the email and we shall do our best to accommodate those. And three times on the teams. Here we go. Once. Twice. Third time, Rangers on top, Flyers on the bottom. We've swapped between rookie classes so much lately that it's uh, it's always hard to remember which one you want to get, but Montreal, obviously. Uh, Jean-Francois here, you have the Rangers. Raymond with the Jets. Jets are good. They have Perfetti. Uh, Michael with the Sabres. Dan with the Wild. Carl, you've got the Tampa Bay Lightning. Danny with the Devils. Eric with the Capitals. Patty with the Avs. Corey, you've got the Bruins. They're pretty solid with Swayman. Uh, Johnny Chan with the Blues. John Zimmerman with the Kraken. Brent with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Christopher with the Vegas Golden Knights. Albert, you've got the Sharks. Uh, Jack with the Kings. John Ma, you have the Habs. Good luck. Chris with the Hurricanes. John Zimmerman with the Oilers. I mean, hey, if there's a product that you're going to get the Oilers in, not the worst one. Uh, Brendan with the Predators. Danny with the Coyotes, Mark with the Flames, Chris with the Red Wings, Dan with the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, John Zimmerman with the Ottawa Senators, Jean-Francois Sear with the New York Islanders, Doug with Chicago, Jason with the Penguins, Jack with the Dallas Stars, Jason with the Panthers, Albert with the Ducks, they are obviously pretty solid as well, Scott, you've got the Canucks, and Jason with the Flyers. So there are your teams, I'll get them into the team viewer here. One second on that. Anaheim, pretty solid as well. I think long run, I, I mean, I think McTavish will end up being the better player between him and Zegris, but like, I think Zegris will just sell more. It's a little bit flashier, so. All right, let me double check these names. Rangers. Oh, jean as well, you got the Rangers and the Islanders. All right. Should be good. Uh, John with the Oilers, Senators, and Kraken. Kraken, Oilers, Senators, perfect. Looks, looks good. Again, if there's ever a discrepancy between, like, the random results and the team viewer, it, it always goes to the random results, but... Uh, it should be the exact same thing. It's literally pulling from the same Excel cells. So uh, it should be all correct. Just in the event that somehow the formula messes up from a copy or um, something like that, then we'll always, we always sort by that old random result anyway. So I'm going to slide the camera over. It just seems like the boxes are, seems like the camera isn't level to me. I don't know. That's because it's not level. That's better. A little bit better, at least. Gotta go a little bit more over. There we go. All right. So we'll give a couple minutes for trades. Uh, yeah. If there's any questions, let me know. There are 12 spots left as well in the Upper Deck Series 2. Uh, series 2 case. So if you're interested in that as well. Uh, still doing the team set of base cards in that break as well, if that is of interest. But yeah, 12 spots left in that. That's group break 364. So, all right. Uh, the one thing I forgot to check with SP Authentic is what the updates were. Because that always can sometimes be kind of interesting. Oh, there's a Michael. Wow. Okay, so the Michael Bunting Future Watch Auto. Talk about horrible timing for that. <laughs> Uh, so coyotes and lightning. You got the cousins inscribed. Um, some celebrated moments. 
some mystery blacks. Uh, some retro future watches, sign of the time rookies, some 20, any 2020 rookies? Nope. Ooh, there's a Scott Gomez patch auto update. Bet you that's exciting to a lot of people. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, what was the one that we wanted to start off with? It was, I believe it wanted us to start off with, um, that's what the dice rolled was that. Uh, just as a heads up for this break too, what side is it? It's this side. Um, this box was, um, I'll try and get the clip of us unboxing it as well from Twitch, but this box just had its peel ripped like in the packaging process, I'm guessing. So uh, the sticker is still on that, but just if you see that, that is why. All right, here we go. Box one, let's get it started. Good luck everyone. Let's see something cool. Again, a good future watch auto would be nice, but um, yeah, be curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are on SP Authentic as well with the new format. I myself am a fan of it so far. Um, it just feels like you get more cards and more like kind of cooler cards, so. Uh, 626 on the box numbers. It's obviously not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And that is fine. So I noticed that the autos in our first box were both on this side. I'm curious to see if that keeps up. But yeah. The other thing I really like about this format change is that there are no more decoy packs. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how the old SP Authentic used to work, uh, you'd have there are packs that have decoys in them and <laughs> Those would also be the same packs that could have patches. So if you're buying a loose pack, it was just always better to buy a pack that had a decoy because you still could get a regular autograph or you could get, you know, the patch auto. Whereas if you get a thin pack, you can't get a patch auto. So I just want to look up. I forgot to look up one thing. Um, where is top? Is it not on this? Okay, so blues are a parallel. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, starting off with a limited future watch red of coal cylinder for the blue jackets. So that is one of the bigger changes actually with uh, the product this year. We'll see even we'll see even top load these as we go along for the bigger names. Uh, we'll probably see even top load all of the future watch reds just because I think over time they'll decrease in value. But to start, they're going to be pretty popular. So new hook on the pageantry rookie. And these are very foiled out for the Avs. And grew on the top rookies blue. Got the little blue in the background, so that's kind of what separates it out. But yeah, the new format this year. Again, you get three inserts with six base cards per pack. So pretty straightforward. The base cards are the exact same kind of SP authentic design. Uh, limited red of Martin Natchez for the Hurricanes. Future icons of Velarde and Byfield for the Kings to 399. Those are normally pretty tough to hit, so we'll sleeve and top load it. Normally kind of like case hitty, if I remember in the past. There we go. So for the Kings, you get the future icons there. Uh we'll put that there. And then top rookies of Uko Pekalukinen for the Sabres. Yeah, love the design of this stuff. I think the contents are significantly better. So lots of good improvements. I don't know. I like it. Limited red future watch of Joe Valeno for the Red Wings and Spectrum FX tier two of Jamie Drysdale for the Ducks with a Blake Wheeler for the Jets. Um, we should honestly, hang on. I'm just going to swap these piles around just because I don't want to be going over top. So all right, we'll sleeve up the Drysdale just because it's a tier two, a little bit tougher to get. Uh, I feel like this bounty is going to go quickly because there's two, you're supposed to get two bonus cards in it as well. So don't know what those are, but the Caulfield obviously out of 50 is going to be very valuable. Limited red of Cachero for the Lightning. Pageantry of Crosby for the Penguins. And, oops, sorry, that's the wrong pile. 
And uh, Ferentz for the Predators on the top rookies. Oh, here's our first die cut. Oh yeah, Detroit's really good in this, duh. Limited Future Watch, Pot Colson for the Canucks, Carey Price on, on the pageantry for the Habs, and Moritz Sider on the die cut for the Red Wings. I love these die cuts, they're super clean. Super nice looking cards. Again, we'll see the top ones as we go along. Um, but we'll sleeve and top of probably all of the die cuts because they're all normally pretty good players. So Pot Colson, we'll put him in that pile for now. I think he still becomes a regular NHL or just a little bit lower on him than what I was a couple years ago. So here we go. Sign of the Times Retro of Keith Yandel for the Flyers. So we've got the die cut in the background. So Keith Yandel for the Flyers on the Retro Sign of the Times. Pageantry of Taylor Hall for the Bruins. And then a Quinton Byfield die cut. I'll get to that in a second, but I'm going to see it in the background there. So I believe this is the retro one. Yeah, Sign of the Times, one at Keith Yandel. But nice Byfield. I think... He's going to have a pretty good little breakout performance in the playoffs. I hope I hope he does well. I picked Edmonton to come out of the West, though, so, you know, that's, I don't want him to do that good. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is Sign of the Times 1-KY. He is a Group E, which is... Second easiest group to hit? Yeah. The only one that's easier is group F, so. Base cards. Again, we'll do a team set of base, assuming we get, you know, your full team there. Saros on the limited red. Pageantry rookie of Mercer for the Devils. And top rookies of Gustafson for the Senators. We should hopefully get a full team set, because it's only a 100 card base set, so should get it, but just in case... You never know sometimes. Oh, here's our first future watch. Oh, nice. Uh, inscribed future watch auto of Brandon Duhame for the wild with the debut date, number 23 of 999. Trevor Zegers on the pageantry rookie and true leaders of Barkov for the Panthers. Nice getting an inscribed future watch auto. Not the biggest name, but good depth player. There we go. Printed in the USA. So they're back to printing in the USA for some of their sets. It's interesting to find out which ones are from Italy and which ones are from... Uh... My arms look super long when I go like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny just watching the sets over the time. All right, just Sturkin. These are all just base cards. Uh, nice Perfetti on the limited red future watch. Monaghan for the Flames and Zegers for the Ducks. I'll put the Zegra stuff in the sleeve and top load pile for now. Uh, I think over, like, I'll look at the prices for it, but if it's, um, if they're not super expensive, they'll probably just be bulk shipped, so. And by bulk shipping, I mean, like, with a couple other inserts and a 130 point. Another die cut and another good one. Marchand for the Bruins, Barkov on the Spectrum FX for the Panthers, and Caulfield for the Habs on the die cut. So nice Caulfield die cut. Yeah, these are super clean. All right, box one done. It is not going to lie, it's a little bit weird only having 10 pack SP authentic. Just like intuitively i reached for another pack or for another pack there Ooh, we got got a good serial number on this one Oops, sorry i went too far with the knife there there we go got 99 on the front serial number and 50 on the back so both the autographs were in that left side just something I like to watch out for that stuff because if you are buying loose packs at least um, it is something to be like mindful of 
because sometimes they are uh, they're a little bit searchable and you just want to make sure that you know oh these are nice pageantry rookie auto of Lundquist for the Rangers all right the auto is not on that side Stamkos for the Lightning and a Spencer Knight on the die cut for the Panthers that is a beautiful card the uh if you do get a pageantry card the front of the cards don't feel like a foil card it's really weird to describe but yeah not numbered nice Nils Lundquist pageantry auto though pretty solid it's a little bit the tolerance on the cards aren't just isn't the same as previous years all right i'm just gonna go based off of that that we're gonna have that i flipped the sides wrong uh limited red future watch of baron for the rangers Pageantry Rookie of Perunovic for the Blues and Top Rookies Blue of Darlene for the Sharks. Yeah, I do like the format changes. I think it's just generally better. Um, it's a lot smoother to open and like from a pack experience, it feels like it's a little bit better. And also from like a box perspective, nice retro future watch McKinnon on the limited red for the Avalanche. Retro future watch of Seth Jarvis for the Hurricanes to 900 and Kalanick for Chicago on the top prospects. But yeah, it just feels like you get more value and that is generally a good thing. There we go. Nice little non-autoed future watch, but still a cool card. Still a cool card. Uh, well, here's a Seth Jarvis limited future watch red. It does have some red ink kind of just like rollovers, I don't know. You can kind of see the spotting on there, but uh, SP Hollow Foils of Dry Settle for the Oilers and True Leaders of Mark Stone for Vegas. So those Hollow Foils, I think, are a little bit tougher to hit as well. But nice Jarvis Red. You should get four base and four future watch Reds per box as a heads up. If you're, because essentially it's a hundred card set, it's a hundred card base set and a hundred card rookie set, and you. The odds are you get four of each. So nice hollow foils. These are like a very, very clean, but classic kind of insert. We'll put that up there. So, yeah, really like the format. Really like the card design. Um, the future watch, I guess, isn't my favorite future watch design of all time, but this pack does not want to open. So we're gonna have to be careful here. All right, there we go. Red of Hellbuck for the Jets, Colton for the Lightning on the pageantry rookie and Cam York for the Flyers on the SP top rookies. die cut coming up all right we are starting things off with a red limited future watch again same thing with like kind of the red spots of uh, elenin shesterkin all in pageantry and panarin on the die cut uh panarin's not a rookie but we will just sleeve them up the die cuts are the most annoying thing when sorting through a break and just keep them safer all right, so it looks like the autos are on the same side, and it looks like it's the bottom pack of the one so far. Limited red of Hedman for the Lightning, pageantry of Dion for the Kings, and neighbors for the Blues on the top rookies. Yeah, they kind of just, I think they just kind of cleaned up some of their set designs from last year, so I don't know, I like the look of it. I think that's our future watch auto, so we'll save that. This is third pack in again. And this is a red future watch. Uh, Matias Samuelson for the Sabres. Again, same thing with some of the red dots on it. Uh, Leonard for Vegas and Jarvis for the Hurricanes. Yeah, like the stuff. If you like SP Authentic, I think you're going to like the set. So 
I do like the base card design, Adam Fox for the Rangers, uh, Spectrum FX of Bertuzzi for the Red Wings, and McKinnon on the die cut. Um, I, if you're a fan of SP Authentic, you're going to like the design. The only thing you might not like are the pageantries, but like those are, I think they're pretty nice. They're different. The foiling's really cool though, so. All right, well, it's not an inscribed one, but... Uh, Jasper Weatherby for the Sharks on the Future Watch Auto. Cylinder on the Pageantry Rookie and Tavares on the True Leaders. So Columbus and Toronto. Weatherby's not the biggest name on the autograph, but still kind of an NHL regular. The top loaders are just a little bit thinner than normal, it seems like. All right, box two done. So far... I don't know, I think that Lundqvist is probably our coolest card. Our best hit is probably the Duhame. So. All right. Serial number 99 let us down. Uh, box 11 with 42 as the numbers. Again, any questions, let me know. So we'll see what side has the autograph in it. So again, there's box number. Card condition seems really good outside of like some of the some of the reds having that little bit of a uh, little bit of ink spottage. I don't know what else to describe it. Uh, is this an autograph? Uh, no, it's. I don't think it is. Okay, we're good. A limited future watch of Eklund for San Jose. That is a good one. I like him. Atkinson for the Flyers. Knight for Florida. Uh, Coop. There you go. Red of Everly for the Kraken. Ukopekalukinen on the Retro Future Watch, non autoed. Taze for Chicago. Is Taze going to retire? I'd say yes. I, I can't see him playing hockey for another team, to be honest. Uh, where are we putting these ones? I think we're putting them up here. Yeah, I already, I already need to grab more uh, top loaders. If I'm guessing based on the name, it feels like you might be, you might have two teams and gotten pretty okay ones. So, San Jose already has the auto, which is nice. Uh, that's a retro future watch, I think. I think. Uh, we'll go through it. Cause that that's got to be a ten eleven future watch. Colon for the Kraken. Yep, Tanner Jano, numbered four ninety eight. Of 499 on the retro future watch for the Predators. Uh, ben Olivier Grew for the Ducks. Sorry, 1112 on the future watch. But this is like kind of 11, 10, 11, 11, 12 was the two years I really, really got into hockey cards. Um, so recognize those kind of designs from a mile away at this point. Huh, so our the autos haven't moved around. Ooh, I think we got a green SP top rookies here. We got a green coming up. Limited red of Talbot for the wild. Sakic on the pageantry. And yep, green of Swayman for the Bruins. Let's leave and top of that. Greens are one in 60. So essentially like having to buy six boxes to get one. It's a tougher hit. There we go. Put that in the kind of cool hit pile. And here. Right back. All right, another tough pack. Just really well sealed, so. And we have a blue. We have a blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. 
Limited Future Watch of Zetterlin for the Devils, Pod Colson on the Pageantry Rookie, and Mercer on the Top Rookies Blue for the Devils. So, almost a full Devils pack there. Just Pod Colson getting in the way. Another Devil. Uh oh, redemption. Well, oh. <laughs> uh, sign of the times auto of Dylan Strom. So I've got to look this one up on the checklist because it is a redemption. And it, most of the time they're listed. Whenever you see a redemption, you always get a little bit excited, but uh, Dylan Strom. I think it will end up being Chicago. Sign of the times DS. Sign of the times DS. No numbering. All right. I'm just going to switch over here to uh, Team Random. So this one is Dylan Strom. Uh, it goes to in Chicago. It's the same card, SOTT-DS. All of his stuff is Chicago, it looks like, in this. So that is Chicago. Not the uh not who you're hoping to see when you get the uh redemption, not gonna lie. You're hoping for a big name at least. Valeno for the Red Wings and Dawes for the Devils. <laughs> Threw me off a little bit. I wonder if we get a bonus auto in this one then. Peterson for the Kings on the red, Burns for the Sharks on the pageantry, Boone Jenner on the true leaders for the blue jackets. Did I say, I think I said Burns for the Sharks, but uh, I think that's a future watch auto. So it's that, it's same second and third in the bonus auto, cool. Honestly, if they make it so that you get, uh, so that you get a bonus auto when you get a redemption in this, I would be a huge fan if it's consistent. Oscar Steen for the Bruins on the future watch red, Mason McTavish for the Ducks and true leaders of Yossi. This is a blue parallel. Definitely bluer for the Predators. And well, that's a good die cut. Here, we'll put that on the here so I can sleep and top load it after, but should be our Spectrum FX. Limited red of Bertuzzi, Spectrum FX of Mr. McDavid for the Oilers and a Mr. McDavid die cut for the Oilers. So we'll sleeve it up just cause it's McDavid stuff. Even though the odds of hitting them are the same as regular stuff, it is still Connor McDavid. He is still the most talented hockey player to ever play hockey. So, got to sleeve and top load him. All right. This is a future watch. So, unless it's like a base non auto future watch, no, it's autographed. Uh, Igor Sokolov for the Ottawa Senators on the future watch autograph. I'm trying to keep in mind of like who's got the best autos. Honestly, do Hames autos like there's a lot of squiggles to it, but there's also like personality to it. Sokolov's kind of got like it's inside a ball, which is nice. Kind of like circled it himself. Numbered 666 of 999. So either way you rotate it, it's going to have the numbering correct. <laughs> and then dry saddle on the pageantry and Addison on the top rookies. All right, halfway through, no real big name on the autographs yet. We do have the one inscribed, which is like, I mean, part of what you're hoping to hit when you open this up. So there's that. All right, let's see what we got in this one. This box number, oh, this is 97, so. If it holds true though, and if Upper Deck starts doing that, where like if you have a redemption, you get an you get the bonus auto. I I would be a big fan of that because it takes away the pain of getting a redemption. All right, if this is the autograph, we will. Uh... No, it's not. All right, if we open the right side. Future Watch Red of Tomasino for the Predators. Good one again. Shifley for the Jets, Lundqvist for the Rangers. I quite like Philip Tomasino. 
I think he's gonna shock a lot of people with how good he is. He should have been in the NHL all year, but went home for the Flames. Another one of the retro future watchers, Matthias Samuelson for the Sabres and true leaders of Bergeron for the Bruins. So pull these, I feel like pulling them a little bit more frequently than years prior. There we go. Yeah, I like the format for it this like for this this year. It just seems a lot, a lot more consistent, a lot better. Paul Cotter for Vegas, Spectrum FX of Vej Melka for the Yotes, and Robin Salo for the Islanders. Feels a lot more consistent on a pack to pack basis. Um, you know, it just on a box basis, it's just better. Carlson for Vegas, Boone Jenner for. The blue jacket, excuse me, and Ryan O'Reilly on the green true leaders for the blues. So I'm glad that they stuck with this for next year as well. Limited red of Keller for the Yotes, Couture for the Sharks on the Spectrum FX. Um, we'll probably put that there, and Hellebuck for the Jets. The die cuts are. I hope they have autos on the die cuts. I forgot to check the checklist again for that. Normally I do a better read through of the product. I just, for some reason, for some reason I just didn't for this. Uh, limited future watch of Bjorkquist for the Penguins, Dougie for the Devils, and Taze for Chicago on the True Leaders Blue. So that's for no autograph. Oop, ooh, UD Authentics of Zach Parisi for the Islanders. Oh, those are clean. Those are clean. They're basic, but they're clean. Like, lots of room for the autograph. I like these. Especially, I the only way it would have been better is if they got them all to have, like, inscriptions on them. But those are super clean. They remind me of the um, Panini Private Signings. Those are clean. I like those. Freezy for the Islanders. But yeah, like if they had um like an inscription on this, sign me up. Aho for the Hurricanes and Ben for the Stars. Red of Hall for the Bruins, Stone for Vegas, and Jack Hughes for the Devils. Devils are having a bit of a rough time in the playoffs. They're kind of getting uh, demolished. <laughs> there we go. All right. Should be an auto if the pattern is anything to go by. Yep, to $9.99. Ryan Damiani for the stars on the Future Watch Auto. Not the best name, but Esposito and Pod Colson, Bruins and Canucks. Not the best Future Watch Auto to get. But if you have Dallas, you're happy, I guess. You get an autograph. There we go. And last pack. So, so far, halfway through, no big auto. Would be nice to get, you know, a bigger future watch or something like that. Pros fit all for the Yotes. McDavid for the Oilers on the pageantry and Spencer Knight on the top rookies blue. All right, we are going to just shrink down the top rookie stack. Or the uh, other hits there, just so I don't knock anything over. I'm just going to get rid of some base here quickly and we will get into the second half. Yeah, pretty quiet half one. Um, be nice to get a little bit bigger of a pull. I will say again, if it's kind of like how it was for our box, the, uh, the box that we opened up for like the first look was really like insanely good. So if there's like one loaded box per case, that'd be kind of interesting. Here we go. All 
right, 22 on the box numbers. What side's gonna have the auto? I think this side's gonna have the auto, but we'll find out. I think it's a red to start off. Lucas Raymond, there we go for the Red Wings on the limited future watch red. It's a good start. Ooh, and a nice pageantry rookie behind it. Mr. Caulfield for the Habs. There we go. Caulfield on the pageantry rookie behind it. And a true leaders for the Islanders. There's a Caulfield pageantry. Those look so nice. Uh, probably not worth the recap, but put it in there. Anders Lee for the Islanders on the true leaders blue. A little bit of a soft corner on that. Nothing major, but it exists. Ooh. Uh, we could have something pretty big here. We could have something pretty big here. Limited red, a Pashnak for the Bruins, and, oh, for the Arizona Coyotes, the uh, Acetate Young Guns of Yen Unique. Not gonna lie, I was thrown off a little bit because of the Red Wings logo in the bottom, but these are the cool, like, kind of thicker Young Guns that are... Really, really tough to pull. So, Valeno for the Red Wings. Yan Unique's obviously not the player you want to hit, but super cool cards. Um, I'm shocked they haven't thrown these in extended, but yeah, this side border looks fantastic. Looks absolutely fantastic. So, nice hit there for the Yotes. And here's the back. But yeah, I love the... Uh, that side border looks so sharp. We'll stand that one. Not the biggest name, but really, really cool card. So cool in there for the Yotes. Uh, limited Future Watch of Nico Dawes for the Devils, Zahorna on the Spectrum FX Future Watch for the Penguins, and O'Reilly True Leaders for the Blues. Feels like I haven't said the Maple Leafs once. Limited Red of Bobrovsky for the Panthers, Jarvis on the Pageantry Rookie for the Hurricanes, and Swayman for the Bruins on the top rookies. Messer, he rescinded his trade request. Uh, Peel on for the Capitals on the Future Watch Red. Pageantry of Undersleaf for the Islanders and Pashtank for the Bruins on the die cut. So that Besser article was a very good read. And, you know, kind of very happy for him, obviously. It, you know. Ooh, we have a patch. Um, our normal rule is saving a patch, so we'll do that. We're gonna put the hits on top, so I don't forget about it, but we'll save the patch for the uh, end of this box. Just cause, you know, it's cool to end on it. Carlson for the Capitals on the red, Bossy for the Islanders on the pageantry, and Raymond on the top rookies. What is this Raymond has like gunk on it, by the way. So it's like it burned or something. So just as a heads up, actually, you know what? We're just going to do. I'm just going to sleeve that one up just so it doesn't get onto anything else. I don't think it did, but yeah. I haven't seen that before, so. Well, there's our future watch autograph of Cole Lind for the Seattle Kraken. First Seattle Kraken future watch. And I mean, hey, cool autograph. Hopefully, you know, he turns it around. Lots of lots of potential there, but obviously hasn't lived up to it. 
Uh, Grubauer for the Kraken and Getzlaff for the Ducks. Grubauer has been fantastic so far. That's honestly, that's been my favorite series is the Kraken Avalanche one to start off the playoffs. I think a lot of people underestimated the Kraken. So Akin for the Bruins. Uh, Patterson for the Canucks on the pageantry and Quentin Byfield for the Kings. So, uh, ooh, this card is, uh, one of these cards is really chewed up on the back. Dry Saddle for the Oilers. Spectrum FX of Mark Stone for Vegas. That one's pretty chewed up. And Marchand on the die cut. Um, you can't, it's not as bad as what I first thought. But I'm just trying to get the light to reflect on it. But you can kind of tell that it's just kind of, you know, you can't even really tell. It's a little bit like just peeled off at the side. So just as a heads up, Marchand die cut's fine. Yeah. So a couple minor print things, but nothing, nothing too bad so far. All right. Stutzla pageantry, die cut of Nick Suzuki for the Habs. That has a little black dot on it. And I think it's this way. I think it's this way to 50. So don't think it's a future watch. Limited auto material of Joe Pavelski for the Dallas Stars. So Pavelski patch auto. Nice two color patch. I think that's probably jersey number, if I were to guess. Nice two color patch. Well, uh, is that stand worthy? Yeah, he's a good player. Obviously not like the biggest, biggest one to get, but hey, if you have the stars, you're happy. Uh, but yeah, this Suzuki, by the way, has this little black dot on it. So. Again, try to call stuff out as we go through it, just to make sure some stuff will get missed. Like if it's on the back of a card, I will most of the time pick it up during sorting, but like some of the limited red future watches seem to just have like ink dots on it. So nothing major there, but yeah, that was a, like had huge potential box with the patch auto and the uh, acetate young guns, but still a good box. Still a good box. All right, box 42. Here we go. Still need a big auto. Pavelski is our biggest name on an auto, I would say. Logan Thompson on the limited future watch. Again, it's still got, this is what I mean about the like red splotting. So you can kind of tell by his head. Spencer Knight on the Patentry Rookie for the Panthers and Boone Jenner on the Blue True Leaders for Columbus. Not a big deal, but just, you know, a little bit something to keep in mind. Uh, limited of Ovechkin for the Capitals and a limited Retro Future Watch of Niels Lundqvist for the Rangers to 150 with the Kopitar True Leaders in behind. So the limited future watch to 150. And the Copatech True Leaders. We haven't hit any base parallels yet. Like base to 99. Tyce Thompson for the Devils. Gustafson on the Spectrum FX for the Senators. And Tomasino for the Predators. Nice guff system for the Senators there. He's doing well for the Wild. Speaking of Wild. Limited of Kopitar for the Kings. Pageantry of Makar for the Avs. And Kaprizov on the die cut for the Wild. Kaprizov for the Wild on the die cut. Wild are having a good little, uh, good little break so far. I mean, you got the future watch in like inscribed auto, so no, it's not the biggest name player, but 
Nice pull. Zach Jones for the Rangers on the limited future watch red. Uh, Backstrom for the Capitals on the pageantry and Beckman for the wild. Uh, we have a regular, I think, retro limited future watch. Unless this is a sign of the times, but I think it's a regular. Oh, for the stars, the retro autograph number to 99 of Joe Pavelski. So double Pavelski. That's a pretty cool little auto. Number to 90, number 35 of 99. Pretty cool looking card. Not much of an auto space. So this is, uh, it's funny seeing a player's autograph and like, this is just a good example of it. When they have more space to sign, like just how much more little detail you get in it. Pavelski did a pretty good job here, but sometimes there's some players, they'll just get a little, like just the extra swoops and stuff. I don't know. There's just a little bit more character in a bigger auto. So, uh, Anders Lee for the Islanders and Valeno for the Red Wings on the top rookies. But nice Pavelski auto to 99. So I'd say our two biggest autos are both Pavelskis. Ah, the Duhame's still probably bigger just because it's the inscribed future watch. Limited red of Bergeron for the Bruins. Gretzky for the Oilers on the pageantry and true leaders of O'Reilly for the Blues. Can't go wrong with the Gretzky insert. This should be your autograph. It should be, yep. It's a regular future watch. We'll save it. Future watch red coming up. Uh, Miro Manoff for Vegas. Pashnak for the Bruins on the pageantry and Pashnak for the Bruins on the die cut. I think that's the first die cut we've actually doubled up on. So that's pretty, I'd say that's pretty good through, uh, what, this is box six? Pretty good. All right. Last pack here. Before we get to the autograph, obviously. Limited red of Brady Kachuk. Spectrum FX of Kyle Connor. And... Uh, da, 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 da. And new hook for the Avs on the SP Top Rookies. All right, autograph time. Future Watch autograph of Nico Dawes for the Devils. Different little autograph there. Still not a big Future Watch auto pulled yet. And that's like, that's why you open up the product, right? So. Swimming for the Bruins and oh, I just whacked my light out right in my funny bone and swimming for the Bruins on the top rookies. Sorry, I just got a pop up on my computer. Um, okay, well, I'll have to deal with that after. Um, the recording, the recording failed halfway through, so I will grab it off of Twitch as long as it saved but for whatever reason it decided to the recording decided to not work uh coop you had what teams did you have you had anaheim and san jose right if i'm if i'm guessing correctly just based off of your last name or off of your username and last name by the way, this is the box that had the like peeled wrap. So 38. It is still still sealed. Ducks and sharks. You got an autograph with the sharks. You did get um You got you got one future watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, you got you've got one you've got one future watch. So obviously like with eight boxes, I mean, just for autographs, right? If you do the math in two, it's, it's 16, right? So like on average, you probably should get one in theory, but like, you know, sometimes a team gets two, three autos. So I think like the Sharks have been kind of quiet. You've got the Eklund Future Watch Red. 
the ducks have been really quiet. Like, you'll have a lot of Zegris inserts and stuff, but feels like there could be more for them. Holtz for the Devils on the Future Watch Red, Terravinum for the Hurricanes, and Couture for the Sharks. But, yeah. You know, that's sometimes how breaks go, right? Sometimes you get the team that hits everything, and sometimes you get the team that hits nothing. Awesome for the Sabres and for the Sharks. Dulling on the Retro Future Watch to 900. Chinnikov for the Blue Jackets. So, and I always like, there's like two types of people that get into breaks. There's the people like kind of, you know, that get unlucky at times. And then there's the people that get the Lemieux Future Watch Auto and Lemieux, uh, forget what the other autograph is in the same break. So, it's uh, unfortunately I was a former for a lot of the times I joined break. So, but yeah, it's like it's like opening up boxes, right? Sometimes you get absolutely horrible boxes. Sometimes you get boxes that like you go run a marathon because you're so pumped up from them. <laughs> so, Parker Kelly for the Senators, uh, Spectrum Effects of Boulay for the Lightning, and Sample Ranta for the Avs on the top rookies blue. So I think between the ducks and sharks, you'll come close to like getting probably half a box worth of stuff. So just like off the top of my head, Bastion for the Capitals, uh, Bergeron for the Bruins, and Crosby for the Penguins. But yeah, could be a little bit better. Especially for the Ducks, because again, the Ducks are like both the team that has quantity and quality in this. You've got the Spectrum Effects, I think, there. Uh, limited Future Watch of Spencer Knight for the Panthers. Drysdale for the Ducks on the pageantry, and Bernard Docker for the Senators. All right, autograph side. We do need a big auto. Like, well, we have another patch. Let's go through the patch this time. Let's not save it. Let's not save it. I think it's just this way. To 100, so it's probably Future Watch. It's limited auto patch. Nope, it's just a regular one of Pajot for the Islanders, and that is orange. <laughs> that is very orange with a Pajot autograph. Uh, Lundell for the Panthers, and Ovechkin for the Capitals. Yeah, hope for a, maybe a little bit better, a little bit nicer of a patch, but. Dang, I thought we were gonna get a future watch patch there. That is this year's though, not an update. I was all excited there for a minute. Limited of uh, Vasilevsky for the Bolts, Huberto on the pageantry for the Panthers and Spurgeon for the Wild on true leaders. Here's our other autograph, I think. It's been pretty consistent in that kind of middle pack of the box. Redemption time. Second redemption here. It is Future Watch Auto. Mike Cardman. I believe that's Chicago. Uh, Jeff Petrie for the Habs and Zahorna for the Penguins. I believe that's Chicago. Uh, same thing that I said about the last redemption. Yeah. You hope that, uh, Corey, yep, yeah, one second. I think you had Bruins, if I'm going to guess. Whenever you get a redemption, you hope it's a bigger name than, you know, Mike Hardman, but Chicago on the redemption. So at least the redemption sorting is going to be a. Uh... Easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, both the redemptions were kind of bad. So we'll see if we get a bonus auto. 
that box had a lot of potential and just didn't live up to the hype. Uh, limited Future Watch of Swayman for the Bruins. That's kind of nice. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks on the pageantry. It's got a print line through the top there. And Pacioretty on the die cut for Vegas. So, still no big auto yet. Like, we've hit two patches, which I'd say is solid for eight boxes. Probably above average. Um, even our base limited Future Watches, like we've hit Swayman, uh, Raymond... Um, Jarvis, Perfetti, and Cylinder, but none of the, like, big couple ones, so. Go back to here for the last pack. Yeah, it's been, like, potential for the right stuff, just wrong boxes. Limited Red of Kaprizov. Kachuk on the Spectrum FX. Does this one have the back stuff? No, it does not. Drysdale for the Ducks, so... Just one of those breaks where it was, yeah, it was just the Pajo and the Redemption, so. One of those breaks so far where it's like, you know, if if the Unique is a top top five rookie, top 10 rookie, this break is fantastic. If the patch auto, one of the patch autos is a little bit better, it's a solid break. If one of our future watches is a little bit better, especially the inscribed one, it's a fun break but so far it's been kind of just quiet so that back half is going to be interesting i will say that much five three on the box numbers and again a reminder if your team was shut out um you will get uh like if you got no inserts or anything like that you'll get an overtime pack and then also your team set base um just so you get something because being shut out is one of the worst feelings. So try and do at least something, you know. Damiani for the stars, Gilmore for the Leafs, and Cylinder. A little bit of a like just print issue at the bottom, but it just looked like it didn't get cut cleanly. That's a top rookie's blue. Limited red of Suzuki. Uh, future icons, Dalin and Uko Pekalukinen for the Sabres, and Kachuk for the Senators. Well, our second one of these, that's not bad. But yeah, it's been it's been shockingly quiet. For eight boxes. Like we haven't really had a big auto yet, I would say. Pavelski is probably better than like all of the rookies that we've got. And like Pavelski's a Hall of Famer, but he just doesn't. Oh, that's nice for the Zegr for the Zegris for the Ducks. Limited Future Watch Red of uh, Trevor Zegris and a sign of the times for the Kraken. Well, that's Seattle's second auto. Uh, Kelly Yarncroke with the Leafs now, too. That's actually a pretty solid one to get and Perfetti for the Jets. So, because he doesn't have, he won't have a ton of stuff with the Kraken. The Kraken don't have a ton of autograph cards or cards in general. And you also get the Leafs buffs in there. Especially because he's playing uh, first line now. I think he's still on that first line. But hey, nice Zegris on the limited red. So, finally got one of the bigger rookies. And I don't think it has a ton of that red splotching. So, that's nice. We've had, I think, the one, like, Caulfield insert. Which is wild because the one box we opened up had <laughs> three. <laughs> Matthews for the Leafs. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. And Raymond on the die cut for the Red Wings. It's just how it goes sometimes. It was like our SPA Legends break. We had the break with the two insane Lemieux autos and then the break that had like, I don't know what our best auto was. It was not good. Uh, Leshinsky for the Flyers on the Future Watch Red. Marner for the Leafs. Finally kind of got rid of his playoff demons yesterday. And Unique for the Yotes. Autograph here is pageantry. 
Mark Stone for Vegas. I got a better name, like good name, just not a um, not a big one. Chester Kim for the Rangers, and Kalnick for Chicago. I guess we get a bonus auto because we haven't hit a future watch yet, and you get one future watch per box, so that'd be kind of nice. This will end up being our best box, and I'm pretty sure. If the if the future watch auto is like anything half decent, it'll be our best box. Because Stone is pretty good. Yarn Crooks, not the worst auto. Uh Ehlers for the Jets, Gibson for the Ducks, Stone for Vegas. The Stone auto is nice. I'd imagine he's uh probably a short print. Where is Pageantry? Um I'm just trying to see what groups he what group he is in. Uh, group C. Oh, the McDavid pageantry auto is only a one of one. That's kind of wild. All right. Base future watch time. Is it inscribed? No, it is not inscribed. But it is a ranger. Well, it's Niels Lundqvist. Could do worse. Could do worse than Niels Lundqvist. It's just we've already pulled him once. An auto of his once. So. Not bad. Not great. Definitely our best box. Three autos with, like, arguably our best future watch. Byfield for the Kings and Cam York for the Flyers. Our best, probably limited red. Um, and her... I'd say our biggest name auto. I'd say Mark Stone's bigger than Pavelski. Yeah. Bit of a bit of a rough break here. Uko Pekalukinen on the limited future watch. Uh, it's got little red dotting on it. Heiskinen for the stars, Panarin for the Rangers, and yeah, not the uh not the best half here. Unfortunately. I can, but like again, if you switch a couple of the names around, you're you're through the roof. So, all right, finishing things up. Chris Letang decided to go upside down. Patterson for the Canucks. Spectrum FX of Giroux for the Flyers and Wade Allison for the Flyers. So that is the break. Um, recap time. Let's go through. I guess these are all our die cuts. So we hit. Um, Panarin, Raymond, Pacioretty, Crosby, Pasternak, Kaprizov, Suzuki, Marchand, Pasternak again, Hughes, Hellebuck, McDavid, McKinnon, Panarin, Knight, Caulfield, Byfield, and Cider. On our die cuts, um, on our limited red future watches are like kind of like future watch parallels. We hit Zegris, Swayman, Raymond, Jarvis, Perfetti, uh, Drysdale on the tier two spectrum effects future watch, and Cylinder. Kind of our bigger names. I know we have a Pod Colson and a um, Eklund as well. Uh, for our numbered inserts, we have a future icons of Darlene and Uka uh Retro future watch of Darlene for the Sharks to 900. Lundqvist to 150 on the limited one. Uh, Matthias Samuelson to 900 on the retro. Swimming on the green SP top rookies. Those are one in 60 packs. Uh, Uka Pekalukinen on the retro to 900. Dry set on the hollow foils. Jarvis on the Retro Future Watch to 900, and then the Byfield Velarde on the Future Icons to 399. And like autograph time, honestly, it's been a pretty, it was a pretty, uh, not the best. I'm glad we got more than two autos per box. We had, I think we got probably two extra autos, but yeah, Lundquist, probably our best Future Watch auto for the Rangers. Pageantry of Stone for Vegas, Yarn Croak on the Sign of the Times, uh, Hardman Future Watch for Chicago, Patch Auto of Pajot for the Islanders, just plain patch though. Uh, Nico Dawes for the Devils on the Future Watch. Pavelski for the Stars, honestly, probably one of our better autos to 99. Uh, Cole Lint on the Future Watch auto. Uh, Damiani on the Future Watch auto. I like the look of this card, the Parisi UD Authentics. It's just not like, not the biggest name. Sokolov, Future Watch auto. Strom, Sign of the Times. Again, Redemption for Chicago. Tanner Jano. Uh, retro future watch auto to $4.99 for the Predators. Uh, Weatherby on the future watch auto. Lundquist to 
uh, on the pageantry rookie auto and retro sign of the times of Keith Yandel for the Panthers. Um, I guess we'll go with the Pavelski patch auto for the third best hit. We'll say the Unique's the second best hit. Just because these cards are always pretty cool and collected. So the Acetate Young Guns, super short print and Easter egg kind of content. And then we'll call the Duhame the hit of the break then. Scrap Future Watch Auto. I mean, that is kind of why you open up the product. So um, yeah, unfortunately, not the strongest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I guess eight when you factor in the hardbin. Not the strongest eight boxes. Again, there's a potential there. You flip a couple of the names. But yeah, just kind of kind of quiet. So we'll get this sorted out and packed up for next week. We'll have the other half next week as well. That's group break 363.